Hey Rutgers University, my name is Allie Marquardt here with the Weather Watcher forecast for Saturday, November 8th. I'm sure the two weather related questions that are on everyone's mind right now is how are things going to pan out for the football game later on today? And when will we be seeing the sun once again? I'll have more on that later on as we head into the forecast. Right now, though, if you take a look at our almanac, got down to a low of 56 at Rutgers Gardens last night, definitely above our average of 38. High later on today of 62, also a couple degrees our average of 58. Sunrise at 6.36 a.m. and we'll set later on today at 4.47 p.m., which unfortunately is getting earlier and earlier. On this day in weather history, back in 1892, they had wet snow that fell in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which resulted in them getting three inches of snow, and it unfortunately resulted in down power lines. Luckily, we won't be seeing any snow here in New Jersey, although we do have a chance of some rain later on today. Here's the regional high temperatures around our area. Both Binghamton and Hershey will be seeing a high temperature of 61. Those are our coolest spots on the map. As you move farther east, temperatures do increase. Camden and Hartford with a high temperature of 63. Newark will see a high temperature of 64. And Washington, D.C. will be our warmest spot for today with a high temperature of 66. Coincidentally, the only location that does not have a chance of rain for today. Here is our clockwise spinning low pressure system along with our cold front dipping down all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. That's what's responsible for the precipitation that we'll be seeing today. We also right here have Hurricane Paloma, currently a Category 4 storm with winds exceeding 140 miles per hour. Once it crosses over Cuba, though, it should fizzle out and will not be affecting anyone within the continental United States. For our forecast today in New Brunswick, we do have that chance of showers. Hopefully everything will be okay for the football game, but I make no promises because rain could be coming down at any point in time. High temperature later on today of 62 degrees. Overnight dropping down to a low temperature of 44 degrees. Cloudy, maybe a rain drop or two as that storm is beginning to end. And tomorrow, our forecast, mostly sunny skies with a high temperature of 54. And tomorrow night as the Eagles take on the Giants at 815. Temperature should be around 45 degrees, remaining at that temperature for most of the game under nice clear conditions. Here's the extended outlook on Monday. Mostly sunny skies with a high temperature of 51 and a low of 36. Tuesday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 50 and low of 39. A bit more clouds come into the picture on Wednesday with a high temperature of 52 and a low of 41. Thursday will, is going to be our next chance of some precipitation as we, have another, as we have a chance of some rain showers moving into our area with a high temperature of 54 and a low of 43. Thank you for tuning in to Weather Watcher. My name is Allie Marquardt. You can watch us at RUTV Channel 6 every 15 minutes or whenever you like on our website at rutv.ruckers.edu. Don't forget to bring an umbrella today because it is not the day to do that.